Hello and Merry Christmas to one and all. Christmas shave. I'm sure you guessed that by the uh, title of so the, the, the picture in the thumbnail. Frankincense and Myrrh by Sterling. It's actually a gift from uh, Mark Hutchinson in this one. Friendship shaving. I've never used it yet. I thought I'll save this till Christmas. Uh, <laughs> I've never understood what frankincense and myrrh smelled like. What is myrrh? What is frankincense? I never ever knew. What did he smell like? I actually took the lid off earlier and I <laughs> had my first sniff. <sighs> it's the most disgusting scent <laughs> I've ever, it's ever been my displeasure to uh, sniff. It's got to be the worst uh, sterling scent out there. I thought coniferous was bad, but no, <laughs> this takes the biscuit. Oh, that's horrible. It really is. But enough of that. I'm sure it's going to work just fine because, after all, it's a, it's a sterling scent. Razor, I'm going to be using the German slant. Razor Rock, a German slant. Yes, that's why it's called a slant. It's like a guillotine. Comes down and cuts the hair like that, as opposed to coming straight down and chopping it off like that. Like the guillotine, much easier to take the head off. Then there, I'm going to be using the Big Ben Super Stainless. There we go. So first of all, before I forget, I'll stick the blade in. You see so many people on YouTube, they start nattering away, yakking away. Then they uh, lather up, pick up the razor, go to shave, and there's no blade in it. Seen it done a few times. So it's a nice thick uh, uh, wrapping paper on the Big Ben blade. There's the Big Ben. Yeah, the wrapping paper is like magazine quality. So I'll just pop that onto the pins, base plates. Oops, a daisy. Nearly dropped it and doing this all cack handed. Onto the pins, like so. And pop on the handle. Why the German slant today? Well, it's all modern day Christmas. It's, it's a German thing, isn't it? There we go. Oh, fingerprints. There's the blade. Already mounted. There's the exposure. There's the twist. Okay. Just checking my water there. Remove the goggles, put the goggles up here. Going on a road trip later. So, uh, just wet these whiskers. So, did the big guy in the red suit uh, bring you any nice, any goodies, any soaps, shaving sets, razors, pack of blades? Nothing here, nothing here. Right. Brushing that I'm using is the bamboo, green bamboo, the S Cosmetics. Just dip the brush straight in. Love them from the pub today, lads. Oh, everything's a falling over. Yeah, love them directly from the tub because it's just so easy to do that with the sterling soap. This brush is a fine brush. Even when it's wetted, it don't smell too good. <laughs> or I'm giving it a good old loading. Okay, there's all the stuff around the tub and around my mitts here. That's going on as a form of a pre-shave. At the end of the day, I believe that the only pre-shave you need is soap. You just need something to soften the whiskers down, don't you? Soap. All these oils and shite like that. Just people have their money. This is as good as pre shave as any. Yeah, just the stuff. The excess has come up from around the top, fallen off the brush, gotten onto your mitts. That's all you need to do. Pre-shave. 
and uh, you can feel the bristles soften enough. So I'm just going to rinse my hands there. Okay, it's on the skin now, it's maybe my nostrils getting used to it. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> I really do find it disgusting. <laughs> Will I share with it next Christmas? Maybe. Don't actually do Christmas per se, because uh, for some reasons. So this is as Christmassy as I'm getting. <laughs> then covering myself in frankincense and there. Thank God. I don't have the matching uh, aftershave splash. No, I'm sorry Sterling. <laughs> Anybody seen previous videos, I've always been very, very impressed with the Sterlings. Top performance, so it's just this scent just isn't for me. <laughs> it's not a scent, it's a stink. But as you can see, it's a super soap, regardless. And typical of uh, sterling, it takes a lot of water. As you can see, dip in the tips, do one quarter, dip the tips, do another quarter, dip the tips, Third quarter, dip the tips, fourth quarter, and so just dipping the tips there, slowly and gradually. And so you get a consistency that you're happy with. I like to uh, just get a consistency where you can feel the brush, it moves around easily, there's no drag on the brush bristles. I didn't know that I've achieved. The uh, ultimate slickness. If you go any further, it's not all the end of the world, you can always add more soap. Bit of an inconvenience, like, but uh, see if we'll curb all there. I'll just rinse that off. Okay. Where the fuck is bloody razor? It's in amongst these other razors here and I haven't got my swaps on it. There it is. It was in the wrong place. <laughs> German slants. Where's up German slants? Big bed blade. On its first use. Yeah, just you could see I had uh, a fairly heavy growth. Actually, feel some drag on the blade. A little uncomfortable around the chin. But it is dealing with. Uh, a fairly heavy growth. Actually, it's doing a lot of work on the chin there, but it's paying off, it's paying off. Is Big Ben the sharpest tool in the box? Mm, I don't think so. Nowhere near as good as my uh, Euromax or Nassets. Euromax being my, it's really uh, dragging the moustache. Euromax being my uh, favourite blades because longevity, sharpness and they're very, very affordable. 
quite easy. So yeah, this is where these rock stem slant raise ahead into the nostrils. Nothing worse than once you've shaved the moustache and you feel a little line of hairs there, like I just did. Okay. Yeah, the wind's howling out there, guys. So what's the plans? I know what you're going to be doing. This is your morning shave. Yeah, quick shave, you'll be down a pub. Unless you henpecked, of course, and... Uh, You have to stay at home instead of going to chapel with your mates for a pint. You have to uh, turkey carvery duties. I've actually got a lot to do today. Spray with the water. Good first pass. I'll have a lot taken down. <laughs> Still a little bit of a shock at this scent. Wouldn't say it was the worst scent I've got. So I've got a couple of scents that I mentioned previously that smell like burning rubber and bonfires. I think I've got two or three scents like that. Right. And let's go for the across the grain. And how many of you guys have got the full two weeks off? Christmas and New Year. What you have? Damn you. <laughs> I ain't. Now that the airy growth's down, this blaze just gliding. Yeah, I just don't think it liked uh, taking down the heavy growth. I don't think it would experience, it's good though, wow. I don't think it quite experienced uh, the same result with this blade in other razors. That's the way it goes. Horses for courses. They're my favourite blades, some of my favourite blades. Don't cover every situation, don't cover every razor. All trial and error. It's a great razor, this slant, you know. And it's so affordable, so cheap. Lovely. Look at that. One little weeper to ruin things there. more than a weeper. Taking a zit off. Taking a spot off. Well, it is Christmas. You do need a bit of red at Christmas, don't you? <laughs> And spray. Well, I did say the slant was like a guillotine. I got uh, 
Varias. Shea Factory Styptic Matches. Let's see how we do. Take that off first. How embarrassing. Let the match. I honestly don't think stick it was a lot for me. <laughs> In fact, it actually makes it worse than it actually is. What I'm doing is uh, painting a Santa colour all over my face. Well, if you're just joining this video, it was a shame channel. Yes, it's not a decapitation video. Although you may be forgiven for thinking of boys. I didn't want to weep on Christmas Day. Pink Christmas lava. Happy days. Pink Christmas lava. Well, I bleed all year round right on Christmas Day. I was going at it a bit fast, to be fair. One thing with my videos, if you do see me cut, I still air the video. I still publish it. And you can hear this race rock. Gem slants getting those ears off against the grain here. Very nice. Ouch. I was definitely struggling against the rain. Definitely. Christmas dinner. <laughs> well, end the year, as I started, probably with a bloody shave. And for the beans. Feels great though. Totally BBS, totally. Thank God there's no after shave splash. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. It's gonna take a while for that to stop, I'm afraid. But uh, apart from that, perfect. Excellent post shave feel. Typical of sterling. Okay, got some uh, witch hazel and aloe here. It's actually a mix I made myself. It's in a Boots uh, witch hazel and aloe bottle. Yeah, but it's my own mix. <laughs> it, even this is going to smell better than that, sir. Uh, frankincense and myrrh. And so let that, uh, I don't know, the best cure for that 
Weeper? Well, it's not a weeper. It's a cut. I'm not bullshitting you. It's a cut. It's a, <laughs> it's a decapped. It's a decapped spot. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to be really, really scientific. A little bit of toilet tissue. Bosh. Better than any stick. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for watching me, taking the time to watch me on this uh, Christmas day, Christmas period, Boxing Day. Whatever day it is between Christmas and New Year, whatever day you find time to pop on a few YouTube channels. Enjoy the rest of the uh, festive season, Christmas that is, not holidays. Enjoy the rest of your Christmas period, enjoy your time off. So I hope you've opened some nice prezzies, uh, soaps, creams, razors. I hope it's been good to you. Okay guys, you all stay safe now. Enjoy the rest of your time off. I'll catch you further down the line. Bye-bye now.